Hello, dear soul. This meditation is all about helping you to melt away the tension, the fear, the worry, all the dense emotions, so that you can get right to the guiding voice of your soul. For we often seek answers and guidance externally, but now more than ever, it is crucial, not only to our survival, but to our thriving, that we seek the answers and guidance we need within. Not from a news headline, not from a politician, not from a government agency, but within. And with that, I want to encourage you to get as comfortable as possible. If you are an essential oil user and you'd like to use lavender, go ahead and put some lavender on. And whether you're using lavender or not, I just want you to take some deep breaths. If you are using lavender, put some on your hands and breathe it in deeply. Otherwise, let's take a deep breath into our physical body. Exhale through the mouth to release the tension from the body. <sighs> deep breath into our emotional field. And an exhale through the mouth <sighs> to release whatever tension we need to release. And now a deep breath in through the nose, filling up your energy field with fresh breath and life force. Exhale through the mouth to release whatever needs to release from your energy field. With your eyes closed, I'd like you to imagine that you find yourself in the most beautiful, tranquil garden I often go to a garden in my meditations because it is a place of calm, peace, serenity, and clarity. In this garden, I'd like you to visualize the bright flowers growing all around, ripe fruit growing on the trees. There's even some vegetables growing in the border. This garden is so amazing. There are birds singing their songs, hummingbirds flapping their wings rapidly, butterflies of every imaginable brilliant color. There's something interesting about this garden. It's almost like it is not on the earth. There's so much light in this garden. From everywhere you look, light seems to be emanating. But not just from the sun, and there are no light bulbs, it's just that every tree, every flower, every bird, every insect is giving off light. As you walk around this peaceful garden, you find a bubbling hot spring with a pool located under the shade of some trees. This hot spring is so inviting. You see steam coming off, the bubbling rising to the surface. So you decide to slip in. No one is around. It's only you here. You slip into the hot water and at first it's like getting into a hot tub so you ease your way in foot and then up to your knees and then up to your hips and then slowly at the abdomen the chest all the way to the shoulders and the neck up to your ears just leaving your head out enough to breathe and as you are in this water it is so magical so healing the tension, the worry, the stress that you've been carrying in your body, it just instantly melts away. It's gone. You feel so amazing in this hot water. You just want to stay here all day. It feels so good. After a while, you feel complete. Even though you'd like to stay, you think, Wow, I just feel so amazing. I've melted it all away. And you notice right off to the side of this little hot spring pool is a cool stream running down a gentle slope, a little waterfall. You take yourself over, immerse yourself under that flow of the waterfall, 
and it just rinses away and refreshes you after the hot water. And when you feel rinsed and refreshed, you notice a nice big flat rock with a thick carpet of soft moss on top. You go and sit on top of that flat rock and you're just so comfortable. You breathe in the fresh air. You let the sounds of the flowing water soothe you. And you are just finding yourself more present, more here in the moment than perhaps ever before. This moment is so perfect, you don't have any need to think about the past or the future. All you need is to take in this amazing experience. As you were sitting here just enjoying, just enjoying being and breathing, you see someone approaching through the garden. And as this person gets closer, you realize this person looks so much like you. It's almost as if you have a twin or a doppelganger. Yet, there's something interesting about this person that looks like you. They look so serene, calm, confident, and peaceful. There's not a hint of worry or fear on this person's face. You see, this person that is approaching you is actually you. It is your soul itself, the part of you that is far beyond ego, suffering, and fear. And this part of you has come to meet you consciously in this tranquil garden to bring you some amazing guidance and messages. I am only here to guide you to this place to meet with your soul self. But at this time, I want to offer you a few silent breaths to really feel what your soul wants you personally to know right now. What is the vital information, guidance, encouragement, or message that your soul has for you now? Take a moment to feel that. And now, what does this soulful version of yourself want you to do to help others during this time we are going through on Earth? In other words, how does your soul self want you to use your gifts, your knowledge, your abilities to help others right now? Take a moment to receive that message as well. And are there any messages you are meant to share with friends? Be it collective friends or individual friends. Family members, collective or individual family members. Are there any wisdom messages that your soul is saying, this is what I want you to say to that person or that group of people? Take a moment to receive that.
And now, I want you to become aware that here in this beautiful garden, as you've been conversing with your soul, other light beings have gathered around. A team of angels have gathered in this garden with you. Perhaps some of your ancestors that have gone on to the other side. Perhaps there are some other figures, Christ, Mother Mary, any light beings that are here to help you fulfill your soul's purposes, to help you bring about change, awakening, evolution of our consciousness. They are gathering around you now in a circle, and you are in the center. As you are in the center of this circle, there may be another message or two that comes to you in your mind. Take a moment to receive any messaging any of them might have for you. And as you are in this space, is there any information you have been taking in from the world around you that they are telling you is not resonant or accurate? Is there any information you've been taking in that they want to give you a different perspective on? Take a moment with that. And at this time, you are surrounded by this spiritual support team, as they call them. Your soul, your angels, your ancestors, divine loving source itself, just gathering around you. And this team is sending you the warmest, loving, healing, activating energy. Your whole body tingles as it's filled with light, truth, peace, hope, courage, and upliftment. Feel it, receive it like the biggest, most amazing, empowering hug. And as you go forward, your discernment, your inner wisdom, your connection to your inner guiding voice is so strong, so present with you at all times, that regardless of the information coming at you from social media or news headlines or politicians, you're able to discern whether it's truthful or not a piece of the truth, the whole truth, or none of the truth. You're able to know what to do from your soul's perspective with the information that's coming at you. And you're also able to know when it's time to turn off that information and not take it in from the world anymore. Your greatest source of guidance comes from within you, from your connection to divine source and your soul. Whenever you are ready, I welcome you to open your eyes. May you carry this energy forth with you. May you continually check in with your inner guiding voice, your inner guiding resonance or lack of resonance on any information that's presented to you externally. May you also be able to recognize that the voice of your soul never condemns you, shames you, judges you, or guilts you or manipulates you. That's what the ego does. And you can recognize when you're getting that from a voice inside your head, it's the ego. Not to judge the ego, it's there for a purpose. But the voice of your soul, that still small voice within, always uplifts, always offers solutions, and always offers hope and courage. I thank you for joining me in this meditation. Our soulful connection to our divine guidance and intuition is our way forward is our way not only to survive, but to thrive. Trust it, listen to it, as if your life depends on it. From my heart to yours, many, many blessings.